Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Treehouse Brewing Company out of Charlton, Massachusetts. This is Big Blue. It's a double IPA clocking in at 8.4% alcohol by volume. It is a big brother to Blue, which is our all-American or all-mosaic American IPA. Featuring a mostly pale grist with a kiss of honey malt, Big Blue has a sturdy base to accept the onslaught of mosaic hop supply during every stage of the brewing process. So, only mosaic hops in this one, but a lot of them. Some honey wheat malt. Never had this one, so pretty excited to try it. Big blue. It's good looking beer in the glass. It's a nice deep orange color. One, one and a half fingers worth of a off-white creamy looking head. Some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass. Nice orange citrus note. Pineapple. I think a little bit of grapefruit as well with this one. Maybe a touch of vanilla. There's a little bit of like a sweet aroma as well with this. So tangerine type citrus, pineapple. Yeah, I'm gonna say like vanilla. It smells really good. I'm not really getting mango with this or guava, which are very popular with the juicy IPAs from Treehouse. It smells delightful, though. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, smells really good. Um, no alcohol presence on the aroma. A little bit of maybe like a wheat, bready, malt note. Smells delightful. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. That tangerine citrus is coming through full force. A little bit of pineapple. Nice wheat bready malt notes in the middle of the sip. Not getting the vanilla on the palate yet. There's a little bit of a dank quality with this one in the middle. Not so much piney, but a little bit of a dank, resinous type note with this, which is interesting. Don't get that a, a lot from the juice bombs from Treehouse. Nice head retention and glass lacing, as you can see. This one is really enjoyable. I'm not getting guava with this, which I always look forward to with the Treehouse beers because whatever hops are you... Well, with this one, it's just mosaic. But a lot of their IPAs really put forth a lot of guava notes on the aroma and the palate. None with this one. Um, but nice pineapple, orange citrus, touch of grapefruit, nice wheat bready malt note, and a nice finish. A, a moderate bitterness with this one as well. There's that little bit of a, a resinous quality. It kind of balances this one out. None of the 8.4% is coming through anywhere on the palate or on the finish. Really nice beer. This is a winner. Not one of my favorites from Treehouse, but I think maybe just because they use the mosaic. If you want a beer that just showcases the mosaic hop, then this would be a great one to go for. There's a lot of great flavor with this one, but um, I'm missing my guava, my mango with this. Um, it's an excellent beer, excellent double IPA, really juicy, fresh, fruity, moderate bitterness, nice, well-rounded beer. Um, I'm going to go with a 95 out of 100. It's a solid A. Definitely worth checking out if you like New England juice bombs. Um, 
and you want something a little bit different that just focuses on a single hop variety, the Mosaic Hop, this would be a great one to do that with. Um, so 95 out of 100 for Big Blue. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Medium body, medium carbonation as well. Don't know if I mentioned, uh, mentioned that before. And um, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And we'll see you here on the next one. Till then, cheers, everybody.